if you want to email a group of people within your organization, you can create and use a distribution group in Microsoft 365. My name is Carlos, and today I will show you how to create and use a distribution group, of course, in Microsoft 365. This type of groups is ideal when you want to send an email to a group of people without having to type each individual email address or name. They are usually organized by a particular subject or also a department or team, like marketing, sales, a project, or users who share a common work. In other words, it is another way to forward email to multiple email addresses. By the way, you can also include or add external email addresses to your distribution group. Distribution groups are sometimes also called distribution lists. There are other tools in Microsoft 365 that can do this job as well. However, using a distribution group is a simple and easy way to do it. Let's now see how easy it is to create a distribution group within your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. To access the Admin Center, you need to log into your Microsoft 365 account. So we need to enter our username and our password, and then click on the Admin icon. If you can't find it, then you can click on the nine little dots in the upper left corner. Then you should see it there if you have assigned the admin role. Then we click on the three little dashes on the upper left corner to expand the menu. And then we click on Teams and Groups. Then we click on Active Teams and Groups. We will be able to see all the groups that has been created so far within our Microsoft 365 tenant. And then here we have two paths or two ways to start creating the group. We can go directly here under distribution list, or we can click here on add group. Then we will be prompted what kind of groups we want to create. We select distribution and then click next. We need to enter a name for our group. We will name it sales team and we enter a description. It is going to be our sales team group. Then we click on next. Here is where we create the email address for our group. Our email address would be sales at our domain name, which is itbe.cloud. If we have more than one domain name, we just click here and we will be able to select the domain name that we want to use for our group. In our case, we're going to use itbe.cloud, which is our main domain name. And this option here below is the option that will allow anyone outside the organization to email the group. If we don't select this option, and anyone outside the organization want to email sales at itbe.cloud, the email will bounce back. In this case, we want even people outside the organization be able to send an email to our group. Then we click on Next. We can review the information about our group, the information that we just entered, and then click Create Group. Our group has been created. We can click on Close. Now, since we created a distribution group, we need to click on distribution list or distribution group, and we will find our group here. Now we need to click on the name of the group. On the right, we will be able to add members to our group. We can click here on members. At this moment, there is no members in the group. And then we can click here, view all and manage members, and then click on add members. I can add, for example, myself, which is carlos at itbe.cloud. And I will also add another member, which is this external user, which has a Gmail address. And then click on Add. The group has been created and has two members, one internal and one external. As a test, I can send an email to sales at itbe.cloud, and these two users will receive that email. I'm going to send an email from a different email account I have this test account, I'm going to send it from Gmail, or actually this is Google Workspace. Click on Compose. I'm going to send the email to sales at itb.cloud. I enter a subject and then click and then send the email. I will now switch to my email account in Microsoft 365. I will go to Outlook Online. I will find the test message here within my inbox. It has been addressed to the sales team. In the same way, I can check the email and here's the test message within the inbox of the external user. 
an important note about distribution groups is that you are not able to reply as the group. This type of groups is only used to send emails to a group of people. If you want to be able to reply as the group, you will need to use a different tool within Microsoft 55, which is a share mailbox. If you are interested in learning about share mailboxes, you can click here on the video on the top right. When you create a new group within Microsoft 365, you may need to wait a few minutes before the group is ready to start working. If for any reason you need to edit the name of the group, you can click here on edit name and description, or you can change the email address by clicking here on edit email address. You can also delete the group by clicking here in case you want to remove the group. As I said before, there are other tools in Microsoft 365 to send an email to a group of people. However, a distribution group is the easiest way to get this done quickly. I hope this can be useful for your business or organization. If it is, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to ask any question or want to leave a comment, please write it here down below. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find it easily again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Remember, it is free and it helped me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.